Hey guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. We're continuing looking at Flux VST, uh, which comes with Halion Sonic SE3. And this time we're just going to have a look at the modulation matrix. So all I've done is I've created a little app and I've got some drums in the background. So let's just mute that for now. All it is is an initialized preset and I've just got a saw wave and I've just clicked on app and we've just got like a, a little bass app rolling along. So all I wanted to do was show you some of the modulation matrix and show you what it's capable of. So let's just play the loop. And the first thing I'll do is I'm gonna use the modulation wheel. So if we select modulation wheel as a source and the destination we can have wavetable one pitch. Now in the depth, I'm gonna set this to 12, and that's one octave. So if I press play now, and move the modulation wheel. So when it's down, it's normal. When the modulation wheel is fully open, it's a full octave above. So now, if I tick here, we've got the bi-directional, and I tried to explain this previously, so, if I select bipolar, what that means now, when the modulation wheel is in the middle, we're at the correct pitch, and when we push it fully open, we're at uh, octave up, and down, we're an octave down. So let's have a listen to that, see how that sounds. So there's in the middle, octave up, octave down. And of course you can adjust this, we could maybe go to two octaves, two octaves down. Let's adjust this now and let's go to wavetable one pan. And again, I've got it in bi-directional mode. Let's put that to 100%. So you can see, as I move the modulation wheel, the sound pans completely hard left and hard right. We could maybe decrease that, let's try to 10. So we've got a little bit of movement, let's try 20. Let's go to 35. So you can really begin to hear that now. Now, the beauty of this, we've also got a modify section here. So for instance, we could set that to LFO. And if I come to LFO one, I'm gonna sync it. And let's put that to half. And you can hear that panning a little bit now. I'm gonna turn bi-directional off or bipolar. So now when the modulation wheel is completely down, there is no panning at all. But as I increase the modulation wheel, you can hear the LFO start to pan. And when it's fully open, we're at 35%. So let's put that to 100. So there we've got hard panning left and right. Bring the modulation wheel, we've got nothing. And as we slowly increase the modulation wheel, you can hear it start to pan. And fully open, it's panned hard left and hard right. So you can see we've got lots of options to create some quite complex uh, modulation sources to make it really, really interesting with the sound. So let's take this off, let's put that back to zero. And again, let's just use the mod wheel because it's easy to, to show. And this time we could maybe have pitch, not pitch, we've done pitch. Let's have um, let's have multi voices. So let's just go to the oscillator. Make sure multi's on, and then let's put that to fifty. So you can hear there, as we increase the modulation wheel, it increases the voices. What we could do, we could maybe have modulation wheel again, 
and this time we'll do uh, spread but this time we'll do a negative number let's do minus 50 plus 50 so what we could do now is we could maybe change this to the LFO and let's do LFOB and we'll sync these at different speeds which they are now Let's just mess around with the values. So you can hear we've got you know quite a lot happening even though we've only got a couple of basic modulation sources and of course it doesn't stop there we've got loads of different things in here that we can use as sources and same applies to destination so again let's go back to our app what we'll do we'll use um, let's use note on velocity now note on velocity is basically going to use the velocities that are set here within the app section so if we go back to modulation matrix and what we could do is maybe let's apply pan to that and let's do 50 and I'm going to go by directional or bipolar so let's hear that modulating and let's try app controller one and let's do filter cutoff in this instance so if I now come back to the app section go on to controller lane one So I've got the filter in the middle there. Let's let's bring our drums and let's have a listen. Let's go back into our modulation matrix and let's maybe have mod wheel and let's put detune. Let's do that to 40.
So you can hear we've got quite a lot going on, and all we've got is still the basic, simple one oscillator saw wave, and it's starting to sound, you know, very different. So there you go, just a, a few ideas of you know what you can do with the modulation matrix. This is not a detailed overview of um, everything that you can do. You know the, the idea for me is for you to go in there and to mess around and find what works for you and check out all the different sources. You know, start with something basic, like you say, your modulation wheel, select what destination you want it to go to and just play with it and see how it sounds. And then once you start stacking these things up here, you can see you can get a really complex uh, sound uh, very quickly without actually physically doing nothing so you can sculpt you know amazing leads or bases uh, that are doing um, lots of modulations without you actually having to do anything so really really handy spend some time with it flux is quite a powerful little synth and uh, a great addition to halion sonic se3 so if you like what i'm doing please do subscribe to my channel and if you've got any questions get in touch and until next time bye bye Thank you.